page on it. I said, heard Rick Rude say he was going to kick your ass and you fucking pussed out. And I put it on my Twitter page. Rick Rude took me under his fucking wing like a fucking father and never did anything but fucking nurture me and love me and take care of me. And when he died, uh, I mean, the, a part of me left. To me, he was the first guy that saw something really special in me. And for some fucking jackass fucking Mark to say, yeah, I heard Rick, Rick Rude, no. I was in a fucking parking lot in Macon, Georgia, and fucking some marks around the car. It was me, Rick Rude, Danny Spivey, and somebody else. Everybody in that fucking car was a man that could hold their own. Before Spivey and I could get out of the car, Rude dropped three guys. Got in the car and goes... Probably without even a closed fist. Probably yeah, with a fucking just, open hand. Like, Rude was a fucking... Rude was a man. The thing was, man... My, my career at WCW would have been over. Like, I would have never been Vinny Vegas to go to WWE if we were in Macon, Georgia, and it was Shane Douglas and uh, Steamboat were working against me and whoever the fuck my partner was. Maybe Big Sky at the time, who knows. And uh, Rude walked over to Steamboat and he said, um, and Rick had been working with me, and Rick said, you know, he, he knows how to fucking, like, if you talk to him, he knows how to come and when to stop, and how to come and when to stop. Like, I've taught him that. So, I eat fucking Steamboat alive. Right. You know, Steamboat's fighting from underneath, and I fucking bring him over to fucking Big sure I come back. Paul Orndorff was fucking the agent. Paul Orndorff was like, motherfucker, where the fuck was that at? Dude, you're fucking money. Like, he, you know, and Rick just, all Rick did was tell Steamboat, work with the fucking kid, because I've been working with the kid, and the kid fucking, he, he gets it. So that saved my job long enough for fucking Shawn Michaels to see me and, and take me to New York. So it's like, I owe my, my career to Rick Rude, and for some fucking pissant cocksucker, who I hope gets a brain tumor, to say that Rick Rude challenged me to a fight, like, the only thing Rick Rude said to me when fucking, he said, he said, he said, Ben Man, I want you to drive with me. He said, I asked two questions. He says, do you take pills? I said, no. He says, do you smoke pot? I said, yes. He says, can you roll a joint? I said, yes. He says, I'll drive the first 30 miles till my pills kick in. You roll as many joints as you can. Because fucking, if anybody saw Rick roll a joint, it looked like the Graf Zeppelin. <laughs> the middle of that motherfucker was that big around. Yeah. <laughs> and it went, you know, and I rolled a fucking, I rolled a, like a blunt, you know. I rolled a fucking Detroit, you know. Not that I ever smoked, I just rolled it. And yeah, a lot of people just roll, you know. That's what I do, because that's, I mean, it's just, to me, I'm just trying to help my friends.